Greetings, YouTubers. It's your luscious lady rouge one full here. As you can tell, you don't see my face, but that's because I'm Skyping with my friend Rin. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> this is Restaurant Wars. All right, quick recap. So Steven goes to get some fries, but he decides to order off menu this time. And Petey pulls out mozzarella sticks instead. Steven is happy, but this, for some reason, pisses off Kofi. Apparently mozzarella sticks are the basis for a pizza. And then Kofi decides to sell fries all of a sudden. Because apparently they weren't doing that before. Isn't that weird? Why is it weird? Because you're a pizza place, and pizza places typically have other things. Yeah, but not fries, so... Yeah. It's not that weird. Okay, fine. So, <laughs> so Frivo or Mr. Fryman takes it as a declaration of war, and the entire boardwalk suffers. There's bodies on the floor. People are just dying, apparently, from them shoveling down fries and mozzarella sticks down everyone's throats. Input? No input. No input. You know how. <laughs> I don't know what you guys are doing. Okay. So their kids are at. So <laughs> Kofi's and Fryman's kids are all getting irritated with this entire war that Steven did start accidentally, but he was the cause of it. And they decide to. No. And Steven says that he has a plan to fix everything. And the first plan <laughs> was to do a to pull a type of Romeo and Juliet and have Kiki was it Kiki or Jenny? I think Kiki. Yeah. Then they, where Kiki and Ronaldo quote unquote fall in love with each other to force them to stop uh, fighting. Ronaldo at first says that he doesn't want to because he has a girlfriend. Nobody believes him. <laughs> nobody, nobody believes him. <laughs> like, where is this girlfriend? But they do the plan, and apparent, and it starts to seem like it works. And they're about to shake hands and end the war until Ronaldo's actual girlfriend shows up. He was not lying. <laughs> How many people do you think were shocked by that? Because I know I was. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. I was like, um, okay then. Because my mouth, it, it just dropped. Like, holy shit, he wasn't lying. Because <laughs> typically when you see these types of situations, like, oh, I have a girlfriend, they're lying. But no, not in this case. Ronaldo was telling the truth. Sadly. Sad yeah, sadly. Apparently, yeah, his girlfriend breaks up with him on the spot. And he's all sad and moby and crying on the floor. But if you go online, there is actually a Keep Beach City Weird, and there's a post that makes it look like they're about that they might get back together eventually. Oh, really? Yeah. I was like, that never got fixed by the end of the episode, so. <laughs> no, I, that seems like it's getting fixed off screen. So, it, there, yeah, the blog Keep Beach City Weird that Ronaldo had actually does exist. Okay. It's weird, Good. but... I feel better. <laughs> yeah, but see that they are fixing that off screen. Anyway, plan number two is for Steven to start his own restaurant with the help of the gems. The gems have not fucked off for this entire episode like they did with the new Lars, where they were nowhere in sight. Hmm. No, they did. They completely fucked off in that episode. <laughs> that is actually true. I didn't think about it. So, they decide... So, for this new restaurant opening, they invite both... Kofi and Fryman to Steven's new restaurant, aka his house, where they blow their minds away with pizza bagels and and another type of fry, where apparently the ketchup was in the fry and the cottage cheese apparently worked on the pizza bagel. I'm sure there's someone out there that's actually going to try this recipe, although I don't know how the fries and the ketchup work. Mm -hmm. No, I think about it. I mean, fries are fried. So how the ketchup not completely, like, either, like, sink into the fry itself? Because the fry look wet. What if they inject the fry after it's fried with ketchup? They might have done that. I didn't think of that. They might have done that. 
So, Steven... Oh, yeah, apparently there was another restaurant beforehand. It was a buffet-style restaurant. And they had gotten rid of it, but the, but their kids don't remember how. So, so Ryman and Kofi decide to employ the same method of begging. They beg Steven not to open a restaurant. <laughs> and it's, please, please don't do this. This will put us both out of business. Please close your restaurant. You already have a lot. <laughs> And Steven agrees as long as they can end this stupid feud. And it happens. So, yay. So, what do you think of the episode? I was surprised about, like, how the gems were the ones that cooked it. Even though they don't even eat food. Like, Well, no, they eat food sometimes. It's just- yeah, but, I mean, they don't like it, so... No, Pearl's the one that doesn't like food. I mean, Amethyst eats anything. She's, she's, she's a trash compactor, essentially. Yeah, but, like, they don't have the same, like... Buds? Yeah, so... Well, I don't know. <laughs> How do you explain that for Black Butler? Ooh. Exactly. Oh, wait! I remember that the manga explained it. That at first he used to cook all horrible. No, I saw that. And then it actually, and then, yeah, it got better eventually, but at first it sucked. It, was t- it looked nice, but it just sucked. Yeah. Because his taste buds were different. But Pearl doesn't like, Pearl's the only one that doesn't like eating, although she seems to like drinking tea. So I guess eating's out, but drinking is okay. Literally, you see them cook in other episodes, like the time that one day were baking cookies for Steven. When was that? When he was paranoid about um, seeing something in the warp pad. Oh! Yeah. Oh, okay. I forgot about that. But no, the gem- the gems did a good job. I mean, they created something. I don't know how Pearl was really able to help since she doesn't like- since she doesn't like cooking. So, cooking has to- you have to taste your food before you, like, serve it if you're in a restaurant. That's how that works. I mean, mm-hmm. Amethyst eats anything, and the only one who I can think has a better taste- has a better sense on taste would be Garnet, so I guess she tasted everything. Maybe. Maybe. But story-wise, this does nothing. Uh, the characters, all the characterization was really funny and was interesting. Seeing we're not actually having a girlfriend uh, was funny. Poor, poor Ronaldo. Hopefully he gets back together <laughs> with his apparent girlfriend. <laughs> uh. So stupid. But that was rough. But aside from that, there's nothing really to talk about. Do you have anything? Not really. Yeah. So, I'm looking over at the episode and I just saw how they cooked it and I'm just like, how did they make it taste so good if, if, if they just chopped and Amethyst just smashed everything? No <laughs> idea. That? No, I have the answer. You know what the answer is? And she put ketchup on it. <laughs> what? The answer is magic. It's just magic. Get out of here. (laughs) That's the answer. It's magic. Oh, gosh. Okay, well, that was Restaurant Wars. And, of course, this all leads into the very next episode.